Hey there, welcome. It's been a while. Um, I haven't posted a stationery haul kind of video um, in a long time. And I was hesitating about doing this one because I can't really call this a haul. This is more like a bundle of stationery goodies that I have acquired over the past two weeks, maybe. Half of this was a gift from my best friend and half of these are things that caught my eye on stationery stores and like I mentioned I really didn't know if I wanted to do a video about this but since you're going to see some of these things in future videos I figured it could be good to have on record how they look when I first got them the paper things like that um, so I guess this is kind of like a stationery talk and I guess it may be a quick review, we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm playing by, by you right now. Okay, so this half is the gift. And as you can see, I have been using it already. Um, I got this, when was this? Last Monday, so I love them. And these three, I bought them, yes, no, these four, I bought them yesterday. And this one I got it two weeks ago. So yeah, the, all of this happened over the span of two weeks. So I'm going to start with the gift from my best friend. She has a channel on plants and how to take care of plants. So she sent me this deal pot with uh, forget-me-not uh, flowers. And I think it's super cute. I still have to read the instructions and really hope that I see some flowers uh, but so far I love how this looks so there was this pot there were two chocolates that I already ate obviously <laughs> um, she sent me these three washies and I love the texture of these washies they feel like you know those washies that those washies that have like a very uh, paper like texture these ones are like that and I love them. And also these, this was a pack, uh, came in a pack. And I love the color scheme. So I have been playing a lot with this in my current bullet journal, which is this notebook therapy notebook. Like so. I'm really, really liking them. I think they look lovely. Uh, they have such like a peaceful vibe, this color scheme. And I have been truly enjoying playing with this set and this color palette. Anyway, so yeah, there's these three washies, these stickers, and they have like hearts and plants and some inspirational quotes, keep going, sunshine on my mind, sparkle. Um, it's funny, if I had seen this in a stationery store, I would not have picked them up for myself because I would not have thought they went with my, um, I don't know, my personal aesthetic on how I like to journal but I have been truly enjoying them so it's a good thing she gave them to me because I think I'm going to look more for these kinds of things I, I, I've been liking having these small messages and little hearts and it's been really fun so thank you for this okay and there was also these three notebooks the first one I think she got all three of them on Amazon Netherlands um, Yeah, I'm going to do have to double check that but this one is a sketchbook cork cover which I absolutely love I really like cork uh, It has 160 pages the paper is 80 grams and It is an a5 size and the brand is Hema. So it's the same brand that makes these uh, washes and I think these ones too, I'm not so sure. Okay, and it, uh, it has, 
I already started uh, trying some sketching, uh, all blank pages. So it could, with 80 grams, it's perfect for pencil sketching, and it can also work with regular writing, uh, with or without a guideline, depending on what you like to use. I love this as a sketchbook. So that's how I'm going to start using it, and as you can see, I, I already started sketching. Uh, the second one is this one, which I absolutely love. Gustav Klimt is one of my favorite artists, and this is absolutely beautiful. The cover has this texture. Uh, it's very nice to touch, and I love the combination of this orange in the closure. And of course, I love a notebook with a pen holder. So this one is from the brand Tenuis Art Journal. It has 192 pages, 32 remova removable pages, and a pocket. So this is why I decided to do the video, because I want to remove all the tags and all, the, all, all these little things and I didn't want to do it and miss the information, so at least if I want to know what was in here, I can look back at this video. But anyway, here's the pocket. And the inside says Gustav Klimt, and I think this is lovely. So I have some notes to sell on how I want to use this. Uh, this notebook, the right side is dotted and the left side is blank. So I was thinking I could use it. Here I have actually some ideas. Uh, I want to write letters to myself or short stories and then do a sketch on what I wrote on the left side. So that was one idea. And the other idea I had was use this as a bullet journal and here have like a, a sketch for the day. Uh, planning here and then sketching here. That could be fun. So I'm still debating how I want to use it. I'm more inclined to use this for short stories and then a little drawing related to the short stories. So use this as a creative journal. And I think this really lends itself for that. And it is exciting. I love this notebook. Everything about it is just beautiful. Okay, so this is the second one. And the last one is this one, which I completely fell in love with. Uh, it has this blue cover, very soft. This is kind of an A5 slim. It's the same size of a Moleskine notebook. It has a closure, a pencil holder, sorry this is... and this is uh, I guess the brand, My Bullet Journal. It is from the Netherlands, and I looked for these on Amazon, uh, and I looked for these, like just my bullet journal on Amazon, and I couldn't find this particular design, but I, I really like it. The paperweight is 90 grams, and it has 96 uh, sheets, so that's... Uh, 192 pages it should be if it has 96 sheets I think and this is because I ripped uh, there was like a, like a little pamphlet in here and oh I wouldn't leave that wait uh, this is like an instruction book and I thought that was super cool because it has ideas on how to do your weeklies and a mood tracker, gratitude log, some flowers, watercolor, um, birthdays and I thought this was a great idea just to uh, for people starting with bullet journaling it's a great place to start. I love this as a weekly uh, Monday, Tuesday, and then designing here. Ooh, I may try this one. Oh, and this one for books to read. So you draw the open book and then write the titles. Lovely. Water tracker, dividers. So 
I love this. And it was glued in here, so yeah, that happened. And as you can see, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm already preparing this notebook for April. This is going to be my April bullet journal. And this is how the cover is going to look. And I'm still playing around with the design. And I'm super excited about working with the different colored pages. So this is like a very, uh, what is this, like ivory? It's about, it's, it feels lighter than a moleskin paper notebook. And then it has craft paper with white dots and then black paper with white dots. And I'm super excited about working with these uh, different papers. I've been, the only notebook I know that has these three colors is the Archer and Olive Neapolitan. I'm very excited if you want. Uh, the set of video is coming up. We're two weeks away from April, so I'm still brainstorming and sketching. And it has two bookmarks, which I really appreciate. The pages are not numbered, but that's okay. At this point, I am used to numbering pages. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited about starting on this one on April. So those were the gifts from my best friend. Next, these three. This one is from Cavallini Papers & Co. You can find them all on Amazon, but I got them on a stationery store, a local stationery store. These come in a pack of three, but I sent sent one to my best friend. Uh, the and they, they are numbers, so there's this one is two and three. So the one that ha is number one also have a, has a, a flower design, a different one, and it's lined paper. This one is white paper, and the third one has grid paper. Very small, light blue grid. They don't open flat, so uh, as you can see, I have been pushing the pages back so they uh, stay a little bit more open than they are right now because they feel very stiff, but I love the covers and yeah, I think they're lovely notebooks. From the same brand is this one. This is an A5 hardcover notebook lined paper. I love this pocket design, by the way. Um, most notebooks have, uh, you know, this kind of pocket uh, that you have to go in, like inside to get something. But for paper, little pieces of paper, I think this is more practical because it just lays there. Uh, it seems like this is a, they are made in San Francisco. I'm confused because I thought the brand was Italian. I will have to research this brand for a future uh, in-depth review on the paper, the paper quality and all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, I think the paper, the paperweight, I lost, <laughs> I threw away the, the extra information. But I think the paperweight is 90 grams for all of this. I like the texture of the paper. The lines have like very tiny dots. There. This one does open flat, which I love. And this I am thinking is going to be my bullet journal for May. I want to downsize on May. In May, <laughs> um, for my bullet journal, it has 200. What did I do with that information? You will see it on the screen, but it has 200 something pages. And I'm in love with the way this notebook feels. It just feels perfect. It's a beautiful A6 hardcover. It's the exact same size as a Hobuni GXE A6. And yeah, opens flat, beautiful. The paper is a very, um, it's a, uh, kind of white, but not too white. It's like that 
perfect spot that is kind of ivory between ivory and white and it has a closure which is great so I only have to add the pen loop I'm very excited about working with these notebooks the next one well this one is quick um, I decided it was time to get a B6 uh, Stelogy I have an A5 but when I talk about uh, B6 sizes I can, and, B, and the, all B6 size notebooks seems to ha seem to be different and I think that the best point of reference when talking about B6 is Astelogy. Um, I really like this size. I think I would like to try it for a bullet journal. I have actually been playing with a design for the cover. Uh, but yeah, I still have to decide how I want to use it, if as a notebook or as a bullet journal. The thing is, I, have, I was uh, measuring the squares, trying the paper, the thing is, uh, with Stelogy, I like the paper, I love the tone of the paper. Uh, when I had it on a five, a, a, six, a6 size, it handles very well my watercolors and wash. I mean, it's good paper. I hate the smell of these notebooks. They have like a very chemical smell. It goes away after a while, but the thing that really, oh, I could use it as a notebook, but as a bullet journal, I like having my top for my headers because I do my headers on top. Yeah, I know I can write on top of this, but I don't know, I, this writing in here, it would be perfect if they took it away. I, I don't like it. I don't like this thing on top. And yeah, that's the thing that's making me hesitate using this as a bullet journal. I think I would be happier using this as a notebook, but I'm still deciding. Anyway, um, the next one, I am very excited. I have been wanting to try a Mr. Rouge notebook. This is a Mexican brand. They are made in Mexico. I am going to do an in-depth review of this one because I think it's a fantastic alternative for uh, Moleskine because it's like I think half the price maybe of a moleskin of the same size and it has a leather cover so this is leather it feels fantastic to the touch it's very flexible and yeah I really like it so like I mentioned the brand is Mr. Rouge they are made in Mexico and the paperweight is 90 grams I think I mentioned that it's a stitched bound notebook and it opens flat. Beautiful. It comes with one bookmark. The paper is a little yellow, more yellow than a moleskin. This reminds me to the Leuchtturm, the regular Leuchtturm notebooks. I don't have one at hand to compare but it's okay but anyway this is the yeah this is the last notebook I got I'm very excited there's a review coming this one I think this is also like a slim A5 yeah so these two the size is around the same as a moleskin about the same as a moleskin and yeah very excited for, with this for these notebooks. Oh yeah, and I love this kind of uh, folio pocket. Uh, they should do these kinds of pockets more often, um, instead of the thing that goes all the way here and you have to open it. I don't know. And the paper, the paper, the the paper feels great. So yeah, like I mentioned, I'm very excited to try these, all these notebooks. Stationery. Um, I, I, I don't know, it just, it brings me joy. Uh, and I find it very, very exciting working with different notebooks and playing around with them and expanding my creativity. So yeah. Uh, 
feel free to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to get notifications on my upcoming videos for sure, for sure there's going to be my april setup on this one this my bullet journal notebook and there's going to be an in-depth review like t tasting the paper quality and all that good stuff for these three cavallini papers and co notebooks and there's going to be an in-depth review of this Mr. Rouge notebook. So stay tuned for those. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And I will do my best to get back to you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.